Hey everyone, my name is David Vermillier. I am a technical editor for Red Hat. So first, the way that I got the internship, uh, Dr. Kim recommended me. Uh, there were a, a series of emails with content rules, the contracting company that uh, had a contract with Red Hat, and then I had a series of interviews with content rules and Red Hat. I waited, then I accepted the offer. Uh, a little bit about Red Hat, if you look on the right, there's a word cloud that kind of shows you what they do. Uh, the gist of it is they're a big company that specializes in open source software um, and more than 90% of Fortune 500 companies use Red Hat software in some way. Um, I work on the content team. It is divided into five sections, creating, editing, designing, proofing, publishing. I do editing and proofing. Some of the software we use, um, since it's an open company, uh, they're very big into open source or, or at least collaborative software. So we use a lot of Google G Suite. Um, and we also use Broadcom Morale, which is an agile methodology um, for project management. Um, the resources that we, we use are mostly internal. Red Hat has a style guide. They have um, a lot of documents that show us exactly how everything should look and what words we should use and what we shouldn't use. And then we also have mentors. We have um, two mentors who help us with any questions that we have, no matter how dumb the question is. Uh, and then for external resources, we use IBM Style Guide, AP Stylebook, and the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. <clears throat> the types of content that I'm editing are mostly for marketing. Um, collateral is uh, basically anything that uh, is professional going to be um, made into a PDF and also a lot of the time HTML. Um, we edit emails, customer success stories, case studies, white papers, webinar, abstracts, and um, PowerPoint presentations such as this. Um, the Rally Kanban board is the, the uh, project management tool that we use to follow um, every project that we work on. And so this graphic explains pretty simply how it works. You have what you're going to do, you have what you're doing, and then um, you just move it along once you're done. Specifically what I do. All right, so I am an editor and a proofreader. So this um, task for editing uh, consists of going into Rally, retrieving the user story, opening up the Google Doc or Sheet. I make my edits. And I use the resources to do so. Then I comment to the stakeholders. I gain their approval. Um, and then I finalize the Google Doc and Sheet and write metadata for the piece in the user story, which is on Rally. Um, so here's an example of, of a piece that I edited. Um, as you can see, so this is a piece of collateral. This is an overview, which means it's about four to six pages long. Um, I'm just going through looking at the way that it's written. I'm looking at um, the words that are used, making sure that everything follows the Red Hat standard. I'm not worrying too much about design because the designers will do that. Um, yeah, just kind of looking at how does it read? How does, does it have the right voice of Red Hat, which is professional and also somewhat plain um, very clear language. That's what we're going for with this. Um, for proofing, it's very similar to editing, um, but what I'm doing is I'm looking at a document after it's gone through the design phase. So um, here's an example of something I proofed. Again, it looks very similar. This is a checklist, um, which is just showing 
um, things that uh, the five reasons you need persistent hybrid cloud storage um, with proofing I am actually looking at this exact um, document although it's in InDesign and so so what I'm looking for when I proof is uh, are there any extra spaces due to tracking changes in Google and um, the editor maybe didn't catch that there was an extra space or an extra period or lacking a period or, or something along that nature. So I'm going line by line, word by word, making sure everything is spelled correctly, everything looks correctly, and it's perfect. That's, that's the goal with proofing. It must be perfect. Okay. Some of the biggest challenges that I've run into with this internship. Um, I would, I have never been a contractor before. So learning, um, how to contract was somewhat difficult. You got to do a lot more things than just having a full-time job. You got to make sure that your tax, you're doing your own taxes as in taking money out because no one does that for you. Um, I live in Boise, Idaho, so finding work outside of DFW um, was difficult, but due to COVID-19, um, we were able to re remotely work, so that wasn't that big of a deal. Um, and then also completing work quickly. I tend to be more deliberate. Okay, so UNT um, prepared me for this role. But there were some things that I think that the program could have done better to prepare me for the role. And the main thing is interacting with SMEs and um, actually getting reps of content writing. I think that if there was somehow that we could, uh, as students, work with an expert, maybe other students in another field such as engineering, and create a document that um, they could use to explain something to someone who, who is not uh, familiar with their line of work, um, I think that would be pretty beneficial because that's exactly what um, technical writers do. And with editing, sometimes I'm also doing that because um, I still have to understand what I'm editing. Um, and I also interact with SMEs to figure that out. Um, and then on top of that, uh, just interacting with HR, obviously. So this applies to any field uh, whatsoever. So I think that having a, an all-encompassing type of workshop or class or something would be very beneficial to students. Um, just how to get a job, mandatory mock job interviews with professors. Um, if it was just TechCom, then maybe ETC holds webinars explaining the difference between contract work and full-time employee work because that's going to be a common theme in uh, this field. Students are going to need to decide, do I want to work contract or do I want to work full-time or part-time as, as an employee of a company? Um, and then, yeah, maybe professors discuss how to negotiate salary benefits, PTO, etc. All right. As I said before, UNT definitely prepared me for this, uh, this job. Um, all of these uh, categories kind of show what UNT has done for me. Um, I would say the best course, the... Uh, for really any type of tech comm um, job that that is the most applicable to to all students is probably principles of tech comm. as you can see it's in a, almost every single category um, the second one for me especially it was editing technical documents I loved learning how to edit um, professional documents technical documents whatever um, and learn like and really learn the sentence structure and uh, punctuation, just how to write really good sentences and how to edit poor sentences into, uh, change them into very good, clear sentences. 
Um, I learned a lot in this internship, but what I'm going to focus on is communicating with stakeholders and working on a content team. Um, with stakeholders, these people are sometimes quite passionate about their work. So you need to, as an editor, realize that, recognize that, and watch the way that you communicate with them. Um, I've learned that being very blunt and saying you need to fix this doesn't always work because they might come back uh, with reasons using their knowledge why it does. And the, the fact is it's not uh, who's right or who's wrong. It's just how do we get everything to work together so the stakeholders happy and it also follows the guidelines and the way that you do that is you be extremely polite listen actively and explain your major edit and then also working on a content team um, always be positive no matter what job you have working with people um, is difficult when there's a negative Nancy who's always bringing out the the negatives because there always are negatives it's it's life no one loves to work uh, all the time at least so just try and be positive find common ground if you're working on a content team chances are you're all creative so at least you have that in common um, and everyone brings different experience uh, so listen carry your own weight and treat every project as though it's a school project and you need to get an A or an A plus if you do that you'll be successful and that's it. Thanks for listening. Uh, this is my fiance and I in Morocco uh, right after we got engaged. Have a great one.